I wanted to take the time to do um, something different than my Acarelli Adventures travel vlog. This is um, more of a, a review. Um, I'm not saying that I'm good at these. I'm just giving my personal opinion. So um, originally I had this bag, which is just kind of a sling bag, um, flips over the shoulder, which I don't recommend or, or like. Uh, I thought I did, I thought I would, but um, I'm not too much of a fan of this bag. This couldn't hold all of this stuff over here. So I have, you know, all of this stuff that I'm, you know, currently trying to put into, into my bag. And that's not including, you know, me currently holding the, Go the GoPro and I have the, um, in addition to the GoPro, I have the, uh, the three-way that goes with it as well. So The reasons that I ended up purchasing this bag was for one, it has this cool uh, sh shoulder mount um, where you can just put the GoPro right here. And I go hiking a lot. I'm, I take my bag everywhere. So um, I figured this would be nice if I could just snap my GoPro here. And then they have this chest mount uh, that would go into these two pieces here and then this loop here and this loop here. Um, it's nice that you have the little the, the waist around the waist strap and has some nice little foam, nice foam backing. So I, I can see that there is quality to the bag. That's, I, I, I figured that if GoPro was gonna make a bag, at least there was gonna be some quality to it. And I, I mean, the shoulder straps, I mean, they even have, you know, a bit of the foam material. So from the first glance, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, I know that you know from from this little pocket here you would take the uh the three-way or a pole any type of pole and put it into these straps so that way you can kind of have that little elbow with your gopro camera kind of looking over your shoulder type view um yeah so i guess let's try to open it up and see some of the compartments and pockets so simple little pocket here it's got kind of a, a felt type material um which is fine let's see this next pocket here all right so i mean it's that's a pretty good size and i think all this stuff i'm, I'm almost i'm 100 positive everything will go in here so there's good depth in this bag which i'm i'm happy about so i can appreciate that um, and then like I guess maybe a laptop can sit underneath there's just like a hopefully I'm showing that correctly a band kind of to put your laptop underneath here and I I can't say I would say my 13 inch MacBook would fit but I can't see anything else besides that getting in here comfortably then you have a pocket right above this area which nice little foam material so Okay, so uh, so far I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm very happy. Still don't just, I still didn't think that it was worth 169, but if you try to get any bag, you're gonna pay. There's a brand called, I think, um, Encase makes a, a bag that's pretty, pretty decent. It's around 100 bucks. Uh, Thal, the brand that I showed you before, they have a bag that's about this size. Um, and I think that's around like 125. And then there's one other one like Technic or T N Q A or something. texting me right in between the review. Anyway, those bags tend to be around 150 and less. So for this, I, you're certainly you're paying for the GoPro name. And the thing that I wanted with this bag, I was like, okay, it needed to. You know, it comes with this little water bladder area or, or storage for it. You don't get the bladder. If it included the bladder, I thought that would have been great. Another thing that I wanted was like some straps so that you can strap this onto your suitcase or something like that. I thought that that would have been efficient. And then the other bag had like uh, the other bag that I like had something where I could put my uh, tripod on the bottom. So I would say at that point, this bag is worth, you know, the 170 bucks that GoPro is asking for. So that's just my opinion. Um, but I, I got this because I ended up, 
you know, getting rid of something else and I, I can justify the cost because it was like, if I had to just pay $170 for a bag, I'm not gonna do it, but I sold something else that I had that I didn't want. And then I was like, okay, well, you know, it's, it's no harm, no foul because I didn't, it didn't feel like a personal loss. So that's why I ended up getting it. Uh, but back to the review. So, sorry, up at the top, sorry, there's like a little, I had to break that or pull it apart. So there's like a, a pouch to put additional stuff. And this is the uh, the chest mount that I was telling you, the integrated chest mount that kind of comes with it. And hopefully, I don't know if this, how well that can be shown on the GoPro camera, but um, basically it just comes right across. You know, you've seen the chest mount, it just straps right across. So this just kind of attach attaches to your bag. And then on here, you're attaching the GoPro. So I think that's kind of nice. And then the pocket is quite useful. This area is where you're gonna store at the very top of the bag is where you're storing the GoPro itself. The notion that the average consumer for a GoPro will have five GoPros is absolutely absurd. Most people have one, maybe two, but no one has five. Anyway, you put your GoPro in here and then there's this nice little uh, oh, it's, it's two pockets sorry I was about to break my own bag so th this is attached right here so it's a pocket on this side a pocket on this side I was trying to make I thought it was just one single pocket so be careful not to rip that when you do because it's, it's two separate pockets so kind of nice again once again so the quality of the bag I, I must say I'm, I'm impressed with and I'm happy with. I I like all the straps, I like the handle. It's firm, it's thick. There's one additional place, okay, yes. So, opening a bag here. There is storage for your water bladder. See the little water symbol there? And then I'm not sure where it, okay. And then through here, it, uh. You, you can kind of pull your water bladder the hose through so and yeah and I guess I guess pull it down through here so I mean again I am absolutely elated I'm, I'm, I'm happy about the bag I do believe it's slightly overpriced in my opinion I would say do your homework do your research before you purchase this bag because there are other good there's other good bags out there and they're much better on the price there you have it that's kind of the initial review of the gopro seeker bag i don't think there's anything else i mean they got these little straps on the side obviously you could put a little water bottle in here um and then another that same pocket and it's kind of nice because i think this yeah ties down a little bit you can cinch this tighter uh if you put a water bottle in here but yeah so I'm going to proceed to do a cool time lapse and put everything in here.